That's very, very exciting. So now, Miro, let's go ahead and jump into our lightning round game. This is essentially where I ask you just 10 random questions and you answer them as you please. So are you guys ready for lightning round with Miro? And let's go ahead and do this. Question number one, why the Clippers and not the Lakers? Does it have to be a fast answer or a short answer? <laughs> it's up to you. You answer however you want. So I was a okay, so I'll start from far. I'm a Shaq fan. I grew up a Shaq fan. So I was a Rondo Magic fan. He went to the Lakers. Of course, I became a Laker fan. After they kicked him out, the way they treated him, I hated Kobe. I loved Shaq. So I moved on to the Miami later to the Miami Heat. And then Miami came to play uh, in LA. I couldn't afford Laker tickets and I hated the Lakers. So for a hundred dollars, I can sit on a Clipper game on a fifth row in the middle. Of course, I'm going to go watch Shaq in the fifth row in the middle. I paid a hundred bucks. Then he went and played for Phoenix. I went and watched him again for the Clipper with against the Clippers. And then I was like, you know what? I like the Clippers. They suck, but at least it's not the Lakers. <laughs> what? And, I, and I stuck with him and I stuck with him through so many bad years, man. I tell you, I watched him. I watched them from being so bad, then turned so good, almost there, nothing. Now almost there, now nothing. And I'm due for a victory. I'm telling you, I am due for a Clipper victory. Our LA fans always shocked when they're like, you're a Clippers fan when you can they be are. a Lakers fan, because I, I'm pretty shocked here as a fellow, you know, LA born native. It's like, it's very confusing to me. But, but the new generation is not gonna be like this. The new generation is gonna be split. Because oh, clearly Lakers are the, you know, they've been in town forever, right? But now it's the Clippers time. And once we open the new building, the new facility, Steve Ballmer is the greatest professional wrestler. Uh, professional wrestler. Also, he could be the greatest <laughs> professional wrestler because yeah. he's very entertaining. But he, I think he's the greatest uh, sports owner. And I think he's going to do anything possible for the Clippers to win. And I'm pretty sure in the next five years, we're going to win a championship. Question number two. Which wrestler, when you first met them, were you the most starstruck by? Oh, boy. I, I'm starstruck every day by seeing people. Like, it don't matter. Like, I'll see Taker and I'll freak out. When I saw Hogan, I freaked out. Even to these days, when I see Hogan, I freak out. <laughs> uh, yeah, because he's my idol. Like, I started wrestling because of him. Uh, so all these people that, you know, I grew up watching, even though I've known them for years, I still get starstruck when I see them. It's just because I'm just a kid living his dream, man. Like, there's nothing else. There's no other way to say it. It's so crazy. You're like, wait, but those are technically my peers now, you right, know? Right, right. But to me, it's not. For me, they're always going to be like these demigods of sorts. Question number three. Do you believe in superstitions? What is your top superstition? Yeah, God has my back. I don't believe in any of this shit. None of them, not even the the salt or any of that type of stuff. The, the, the step on the crack, break your mama's back. The one that they spread uh, in school. <laughs> There's one that they this like it was in the elementary where people would say if you stepped on a crack, you broke your mama's back, and so many people believe that it was like these silly superstitions. Oh <laughs> I would say they should look into God and they should read about God, and they will, and then he will explain everything. Like superstitions is man made shit. That's what That's it is. That's definitely true. I agree with you on that. <laughs> Question number four. Favorite and least favorite thing about weddings? Favorite thing about weddings? Well, my wife, clearly. My wife is the favorite thing about wedding. Uh, <laughs> my least favorite thing about wedding? Gosh. Maybe the, that I have to deal with it. But my wife dealt with the whole thing. Oh, see. You maybe got, the hangover. You got lucky. The what? Maybe the, the hangover? Maybe the, maybe the hangover. <laughs> that's true. That's true. But you know what? That just means you had a really good time. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs> Question number five. Name your three all-time favorite video games. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. FIFA. FIFA. And FIFA. Perfect. You nailed it. <laughs> Question number six. If you were a candy bar, which candy bar would you be? If I am a candy bar? Yes. Wow. It's got to be a protein bar of sorts. It's got to be the best protein bar in the world. That's what it is. Well, okay. So I think that would be. So, but, but would you consider a protein bar a candy bar, though? Absolutely. Would that That's count? What I eat. Yes. That, yeah. Okay. All if right. you're a grown man, 
I believe your candy bar should be a, should be a protein bar. There you go. Well said. Question number seven. What game are you not good at? None. I'm good at all the games. There's not, not like a game that I'm not good at. Or like a charades type of game. I don't even know what charades is. The one where you act things out and the person has to guess what you're like talking about. <laughs> like you act something out. No, no. I'm the best man. I'm good at everything. <laughs> the bestest. Question number eight. What was your favorite cartoon character as a kid? Oh, man. so many there's so many but when you think about it it's got to be probably tom and jerry probably they'll be like number one you just you know why why it's because they didn't need language for understand for you to be funny that's true and you're so it's, engaged throughout the whole episode it's so universal you don't need anything you didn't see people's faces you didn't see there was no words you were just good old entertaining man you just sit <laughs> and you enjoyed by by these silly cartoons. And as much as I love Dexter's Laboratory, I love all these other things. I love animes, but anime without language, it's without Japanese explaining for seven minutes why, how they're gonna kill you in the next two minutes, it's just not an anime. But with Tom and Jerry, you have not, it's so universal, man. It's the best. It's a classic. I don't know anybody who does not like Tom and Jerry. Impossible. Question number nine, which TV show do you think Miro should have been casted on? And this could be past or pr a present show. Wow. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I would love to be casted in my own movie, you know? Like, I feel like I have a story that it could be really told in any kinds of, even, even, even on a Broadway show, it could be told. So yeah, I would say that I will, I will put myself in my own movie because I just don't want to be that. Oh, put me in this, put me in that. Just put me in my own movie. That's all I care. And it would be better than Tom and Jerry. And Rocky together. It's like Tom and Jerry meets Rocky. Yes, yes, that's a good, that's a good analogy. <laughs> a very, very good analogy. Question number 10. If there was one meal you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, I think I had that on my Twitch channel. It's got to be eggs. Eggs, any sort of eggs, scrambled. Well, the, 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 the thing about eggs is I get to do them any kind of way. That's why I'm sticking with the product eggs, because I can just manipulate them to the way I want it. But because if, if it's not, it's got to be some Bulgarian dish or French fries. I love French fries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. There's so well, no. What if we can we combine French fries with the egg on top and feta cheese? I think you can. I mean, I've personally never had it, but it sounds pretty good. It doesn't yeah, sound like it would taste bad at all. That's a good that's, combination. That's my choice. Alrighty, and bonus question. I saw you singing Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Can I we stay out tonight. Your I got nothing in my brain. <laughs> that's what people say. Ooh, ooh. That's what people say. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I so love Taylor Swift. Yes, you're a Swifty. I'm so happy I'm to a hear Swiftie. this. When I looked you up, I saw you like Taylor Swift. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do this podcast. Yes. You don't <laughs> oh have to God. ask me twice. <laughs> That's so the, so only, funny. the only reason why I did this is because you love Taylor Swift. This is like the best moment of my entire life right now. And I was going to ask, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it would be like, it would be super weird if I asked. Well, I was like, screw it. I'm asking him. <laughs> you kidding me? My wife, my wife still, she's like, I can't believe you like Taylor Swift. But my wife loves Taylor Swift, but the old school Taylor Swift, the country girl. Like, what's so... She's evolving. She's being modern. She's 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 the best. Probably she's the best singer. She's the best. Probably she writes her own stuff. She she sings her. She plays her own stuff. She's amazing, man. She's her and Pink are definitely my two favorites. Oh yes, they're both. I don't think any. Up. I don't think any Rihanna. I don't think any Beyonces. I don't think uh, Madonna comes close as much as I love Madonna. It's just Taylor Swift, man. Her voice is just like. I don't know. It's just so cool. It's very cool. Thank you. I have been saying this for the longest time, and now I have Miro to back me up. So we are good. I am yeah. winning every single future argument, and every time I'm going to pull up this clip right here. Miro, right. I want to thank you so much for doing this interview with thank me. You. you were absolutely fun to talk to. Really incredible. I'm excited to see your journey on AEW, and I'm excited to hear your upcoming announcement. But before we go, where can people follow you on social media? Social media, 
here we go. We have To Be Miro on IG. We have To Be Miro TV on YouTube. We have Miro Twitch on Twitch. And we have To Be Miro on Twitter as well. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Perfect. No, no snap, no, not, not snap cam. What was that? Snapchat? Snapchat, Snapchat. No Snapchat. I have TikTok. I don't know my TikTok. I'm sorry. My wife is so mad at me that I'm not doing my TikToks. <laughs> you but need yes. to do those TikToks. But I feel like next time, wow, you already put everything down there. You still oh, yeah, we have you. it right there. And then we also have your at wow, Tiffany right there. <laughs> so next time, I think we should do a video, me and you singing Taylor Swift. That would be my dream, all right? That would be like a dream okay. right there. Or we just do an all Taylor Swift video. We'll do it. I'm all for it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miro. Thank, Thank you. you for everyone watching this video. Please do not forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more awesome interviews like this one. And I'm going to be posting all of the links so you can follow Miro on everything. So make sure you go ahead and click on the description box. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.